This is your Monix Metals Market Update with Mike Maroney. Good afternoon. It's Monday, July 23rd. My name is Mike Maroney, and I am coming to you today from the Monex Precious Metal Studio. Let's do our week in preview. Now, needless to say, it's always important to look at where we were in order to figure out potentially where we're headed. And last week, we had very low price levels in both gold and silver. As silver hit a low of 12.10, and gold, excuse me, Gold hit a low of 12.10 and silver hit a low of 15.14. Silver retested the intraday low from July of 2017 and gold couldn't quite break below that key area of support defined by the 1200 level. But both metals bounced back strongly as President Trump came out and talked about why the Fed should potentially slow down the process as far as rate hikes are concerned. Now, what do we have happening this week and what do we have to look forward to as far as potential events? We have GDP numbers being released on Friday and the estimation is somewhere between four to 5% growth. And many people believe if that number comes in at four and a half percent, that the Fed may continue on its hawkish path as far as rate increases are concerned. And lo and behold, after this Friday, Tuesday and Wednesday, the Fed will meet and will give us the answer to the question, are they going to raise in August and will they continue to be hawkish as far as their statement is concerned? If you look back, it hasn't been unusual as we head into the Fed for the metals to pull back into the meeting and then to rally after the meeting. And based on the statements coming out of the White House, a lot of people believe that maybe the Fed may acquiesce a bit as far as their hawkish stance is concerned. Obviously, the dollar trading at 95 and change last week was a little higher than President Trump would like to see. And if you look at overall the end results of the tariffs, most of that will be counterset if the dollar continues to rally. So obviously the White House would like to see a weaker dollar and more exports, and that won't happen if the dollar continues to charge higher against all of the other currencies. So this coming week on Friday, watch for that GDP number. A big number may give us an opportunity on a push back to retest the lows in both gold and silver to buy in at what could be tremendous price levels. Because if you look back on this market over the last nine years, silver has only traded below $14 in three given months. And over the course of those nine years, there have been only seven months where silver didn't trade to at least $16 intraday. So obviously when you look at 15, 14, 95, 15, 25 silver, it looks like a tremendous long-term buying opportunity, especially if we are going to see a weaker dollar in the future. Based on our debt, based on our spending, based on our president telling us he's the king of debt, where do you think the dollar could be headed in the long term? If you think like many others think that the dollar is headed lower, then precious metals may be a great long-term investment for you. Give us a call today so we can, can discuss how precious metals can fit into your portfolio. Thank you.